and I welcome you to the eighth episode of this whole endeavor. In the last episode, we married off my daughter Katarina. Well, we betrothed her to Count Uck. We also married off Countess Regenlind to the Count of Flanders. Titburger to Bratislav. I think this was in the last episode. I don't remember. Definitely M Mark Grave Berenger. And Bernhard Udo. Uh, Bernhard Udonen to Countess Freduna. Very, very interesting stuff indeed. And I personally want to take Magdeburg for myself. Which is why I'm going to fabricate a claim, which I hopefully get in my lifetime. I mean, we gotta say, we are very old. Margrave Lotta Udo II now rules this entire county for 23 years. And he's old, he fought a lot of wars, he expanded his county to a lot of places and has to wage a war a second time. Hopefully with the same... Um, yeah, the same results. But I just personally want this claim. I will wait until the year 80, uh, 1082. Then we're going to fabricate a claim. And the county of Altmark. Yeah, the county of Altmark will be lost to my young bastard son, Luitger. And yeah, oblige the vessel so he cannot join any factions. That will come, uh, come in handy. Very good. He doesn't will join any factions. Oh, and as just as I talked about it, matters of life and death. Which age, whoops, with age comes wisdom, they say. Or at least it may change the question we ask, you mutter to yourself. You've had trouble sleeping lately. More often than not, while the rest of your court is around sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You are getting older, each day closer to leaving this place of existence. It is folly to fear such things, of course, yet you cannot keep these feelings at bay. Didn't you use your dream to grander things? What about craving your own path? What happened to my ambitions? You sit up straight in your bed. This is ridiculous. You are the ruler. You have people ready to serve you any within. Perhaps your counselors have, uh, counselors have any ideas. If nothing else, it might be easy to trouble sleeping. I mean, we are arbitrary, but we are also temperate and zealous. And we had this discussion probably a lot of times. And we already know that the undead living, what was this name again for that? Um, that invisib invisibility comes with death. When heaven's gates opens the doors, their doors. So no, we are not going to do anything about that. We're not going to dream about a unending life because we already live an unending life in heaven. Actually, when I think about it, I've lived a good life. We are not going to accept such foolish things. All right, so let's wait for another year, I would say, until July, August. And when we don't get the claim until then, I'm just going to conquer it and hope that Duke Bernhard marries someone. I mean, he also just could marry... Uh, no, he wouldn't. He could marry, for example, Katharina. Let's break this thing again. Wait one second. Not break the non-aggression pact. I want to break the betrothal. Um, would you be willing? Yes. Oh, that would be great. I mean, there will be still be uh, there will be still be Lungen in this dynasty, or in this province. Oh God. Okay. To the great Margrave Lotter Udo II, peace be with you. We request that you honor your obligations and answer this call to arms against Margrave Wilhelm of Meissen. Uh, yeah, Meissen möchte to, möchte to expand, yeah. Wants to expand its borders to Landsberg, but I cannot stop him, I'm sorry. I don't have enough troops to even help you. The Landgra Margrave of Meissen is just too strong for me, so I will not partake in this war. I am actually I'm not stupid, you know. Of course, this will delay some things because I don't want to wait. let this war wage in my midst. Even though we are still having our very, very, very strong alliance with the kings of Bohemia. 
Do they do we actually get children? Doesn't seem like it. Huh. I need my claim on Magdeburg. Ah, no, we, we said we wait till June, July. Hopefully, we get here in the claim. Because then we can personally claim this county of Magdeburg and take it for ourselves. If not, he is still within an aggression pact with our faction. He's married with one of my daughters, or at least betrothed. And he can, I mean, can then, I don't know. We don't have to worry about him at least. Yeah, a lot of people, like these small messages, I'm not going to read them, they're just way too many. And we're still the strongest faction, even though most people now leave and go. Even Hermann is now in this uh, faction. Yeah, and Hans no longer lives. He died a natural death at the age of 54. Sadly, he passed away. Chancellor Vicho is his respondent, his follower, so let us take a claim with him. And you know what, because of this I will actually wait till December next year. Uh, at least December this year, I mean, oh God, December next year. Oh, and my son-in-law died at the age of 50. And the good old Regenlind now had two husbands, which she never get a child from. Yeah, and she's now s residing at the court. Oh no, she's came back to my court. Yeah, so let's play this game a third time. You know what? Why not? Mm, Ulrico sounds interesting. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's somewhere a big, big plague. Yeah, there's a big consumption plague, tuberculosis. So, my dear daughter, how about you be betrothed to Ulrico? <laughs> A third time. Oh my god. Emperor Heinrich the first, the, the third, the fearless, died under suspicious circumstances. Ooh. This, of course, took now a very dark turn. Emperor Kuno of the Holy Roman Empire has inherited the Holy Roman Empire and has taken direct control of affairs of state. Long live the new emperor. Yeah, Emperor Kuno the I I'm wondering how he is related to the old emperor because they they share the same dynasty oh boy how do you call that one again so he is the um uncle this is his great great grandfather this is his father father this is his grandfather his grand grandfather so this is his great uncle this is his um great cousin or cu cousin second grade, cousin fourth grade, cousin fifth grade, third grade. I don't know. So he is still in the Zalain family and through some suspicious things now became the new emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. 46 years old, charitable, just, deceitful and temperate and also a bit slothful. Ooh. Dear father-in-law, may you live in harmony and contentment. We request that you honor... Our call at arms against the Apat. My allies do have some ambitions. I've got to save them that. Now, I will actually send to him some troops. Not because I don't love my other son-in-laws, but because I actually can see him winning this with my support. Yeah, with him I don't see this. Well, this is a very... Deathly consumption epidemic right here. Ugh. Well, we do go into war a last time, probably, in our lifetime. One of our last times. Oh well. Another commander has to be assigned. Lima, he doesn't like us at all. And our son became content and uncaught. And also our 
rival? Died of Glutton, Robrecht Code of Flanders. Oh yeah, that um, notification. And it seems like one of our, our spy master died. Oh, the old, mm, me, not Michael. Something was called. I still do remember him. So it was now the turn for Scorvioi to be my new spy master in this region, and also a new commander, Hermann. Assign guardian. I will not accept that. Never. Okay. Yeah, the leash counts as now discontent. And he won his title, now he owns the title of Mons. Mons, 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 yes, he owns this title. Hmm. Okay. And we will fight our little war down south. This, of course, is interesting. I think he has something to do with that. I've gotta say, he has something to do with this, with that, this little cheeky Lima van Ottendorf, that our son Bernhard all of a sudden doesn't like us anymore. Huh, we will see, we will see how this turns out. Oh yeah, we have to align with this, with these troops. How, uh, how, <laughs> where do they go? Emperor Kuno of the Holy Roman Empire has declared imperial Norwegian excommunication war. This emperor is at constant war. My lord. He literally jumps from war to war. Does our rival still live? No, he's dead. And we are finally over, over, uh, over our cold. And my daughter has again food poisoning. Yeah, call for my um, court chaplain. Where does he get these 3,000 troops for? Whoa. Grand Duke Lep of Polotsk. <clears throat> oh boy. Prignitz Prospers. Great. Yeah, once you become Catholic, you actually prosper in our society. Let it be a lesson. Yeah, I think this is also now a lost cause. I don't know what this AI is doing. They for some reason do wars which they just cannot win. I mean this one is just an aggressive war around Launsberg. But the other ones... Alright! Um, so I also have to send you now 100 gold. I will also just send you 50 for now. Upsala. And we cannot forget... Actually, actually I will go and take some loans. But because we cannot forget to send one fifty gold gift to him and another one to whom again? I actually think Berengar gets another fifty. Like that. Okay, we paid off of all of our dowries. So we don't uh, we are no longer in debt with anyone. And I think my sons and daughters, uh, at least my one son, Bernhard, will <clears throat> accept and use probably my alliances and marriages that I aligned for him, hopefully. Yeah, and he lost. Landsberg is not part of Meissen. But Meissen could change hands. It could change hands. Um, but before it will do that, let's invest into castle infrastructure. And mm, also send off. You know what? I'm going to do it. Luitga is going to marry Gudrun Wilhelming. And yes, you can now marry your wife. The wife you want to marry. Oh. We didn't nearly even have to had to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to support you in your own war anymore. You can do this on your own. I don't see how you can win this. 
and I personally need to wage one last war. The de jure claim on Magdeburg, the last war of our regency probably, together with the good old King Vratislav. We too have to do it one last time. Because then it truly belongs to us, even together with an very very strong um, with a very very strong enemy I cannot hold a tradition faction meeting while I'm in war sadly so this has to wait oh boy and he is again yeah he is again unbelievably strong just because of the new rulership yeah was he even? Yeah, Bernhard II. He was, for a short period of time, the actual duke. No, this can wait. It has to wait. Uh, yeah, Lima. Oh boy. And we ourselves. Hopefully we can withstand this attack. Oh boy. Uh, this can go wrong. Yeah, let's just tactically retreat. No, I said I don't retreat. I think I just forgot that once. I said I am not retreating. And I could have sworn I heard the enemy commander Count Eglimar barking orders. But as I search the hills, he is nowhere to be found. A fellow soldier finally informs me that he has been spotted cowering in the far behind, back behind all fallen tree. And most disgraceful behind his troops. We are getting, we're letting everyone know from of his cowardness, of course. Yeah, and this is just a little setback. Ooh, and the old Berengar now died. With my own daughter being imprisoned by the king of uh, Hungary. And the new Markgraf Gebhard of Nordgau is now the new ruler. I mean, my, my, my major setbacks, minor setbacks. Minor setbacks, we are not going to be overly... Um, demoralized by that we can still win this maybe I even call in the armies and try to defeat him once more because I don't think we can uphold an attack that long uh, even though minus 13% minus 16% we would be faster actually now minus 24 yeah we would be definitely faster all right then let's wait I think when he owns both of these titles, he will just retreat to his old title. Yeah, because what will happen then with his old title. And now he also has the flu. Uh, call my court physician at once. He has to be healed. And he's just a misguided warrior. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, let's just introduce him to the Imperial Court, court and hope for the best. Yeah, let's see what it will what they will say about him and yeah we cannot buy my second son free oh god this is a disaster Ooh. and we catch them at Lüneburg this means we can destroy his Ooh. yeah they're already at a big disadvantage we can just overrun his troops which means we will win a battle with fewer troops. And this will give us a huge uh, benefit. Not a huge benefit, actually. This is a bit stupid. We won with more troops. Why don't we just get a bigger plus? Oh. Yeah, now we have to wait because these this huge number of Norwegians are just marching through here. And quickly take Stade back. Now we need to retreat fastly to... No, not retreat, but we need to march towards Magdeburg. Um, do you want to be my new marshal? No, I'm the ruler of the Markgraviate of Nordmark. And we are unmarried. What happened to our wife? 
What happened to my wife? He just took my wife and sent her. <laughs> what? No, this is firstly outrageous, but secondly, unbelievable cool. Like, this is a bit of. a bit too real. He just took my wife as a hostage and then sent her to. to the mon monastery because she's such a disgrace to the Belungen dynasty. I mean, interesting, but still a huge, 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 huge um, disgrace from him. No, I don't want to also take the mm, bad take from the river. Oh, I cannot. Uh, I have to take the river penalty. Okay, then we will go to Altmark. Yeah, we will march past by him. Oh, can we take now? No, uh, I didn't want to take it. Game. Yeah, we're now probably going to lose this. Oh, god damn it. I try to breathe be deeply, but catching my breath in the freezing weather is difficult. Look, it's my Markgraf himself, someone shouts. I turn, only to find myself overrun by a dozen of Duke Herman's pompous soldiers. Oh god. Oh boy. Um, I don't think so. I duel Commander Herman myself. Ooh, the sun is beginning to set when I met the Duke Herman. My sword shorts, uh, my, my short sword ready. After he clumsily dodges one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured hand, but I already rarely seen so much blood. Ooh. We could kill him, but he's no rival. He's also. We also have no single um, ambition to kill him. He's just a zealot, just like us. He's also born in the same year like us. Oh boy. Yeah, we will just walk away victorious. Hopefully this will give their troops some sort of moral disadvantage. But it doesn't seem like it. Oh boy. And now we retreat again. After another huge failure. Oh boy. Yeah, and what now? What now? I mean, we have just one single decision we can take. Take another loan. And then... I mean, what we could also do is call in... Oh my god. One more... One more... Um... Yeah... Ally. Huh. Yeah, there isn't a lot what we can do now, is there? He also lost a lot of troops. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with this situation and I will tell it to you in the next episode. Until then.